we're entering the box. There's a lock on the left and a lock on the right. Traffic goes one way and traffic goes the other way. Um, it takes 52 million gallons of water to get us all the way through the canal, raising and lowering. And they move 30, about 30 ships per day through the canal. Here are all the locomotives, but they just stabilize the boat and act as brakes, keep it in the center of the boat. This one, see this one has a cable, it's already attached to the boat, but he's not pulling the boat, he's just staying alongside it. They've opened up this little station on the outside so they can drive around here, and they've brought a, a captain on from Canal, from Panama, the captain of the boat, who's relinquished control of the boat, to this guy who's going to drive it through. So there's a rear locomotive, too. so there are four locomotives, the four corners of the boat. This is my little American girlfriend. She's watching from back there. The first survey of a proposed canal across the Asus See the rear locomotive there. It's about 6.30 a.m. Where is that back to the king at that time? Right there. This is the captain here, our captain. The jungle of Panama was almost You can see the front of the canal up there, I mean the lock. I'm pretty sure this is the rear door right here. This door is going to close behind us. And... Uh, then the water starts filling us up. We're going to be lifted here. These signs are telling us how far it is to the door. 830 feet, 780 feet, 725 feet. And I'm pretty sure that locomotive is going to act as a brake to slow us down. Here you can see it's 780 to the front door, 7350 to the rear door. And for no sense on the panel. It's the rear locomotive, and as you can see, the, the rear doors were closing the down. In they years started closing as we passed them, I guess. Over a million ships. He said it's going to lift about 26 feet in 8 minutes using 26 million gallons of water. Wow, <laughs> look at the water coming in. It's making a whistling noise. It's going to use 16 million gallons of water in eight minutes. He's 85 feet up or 85 feet down. So right now, uh, you can see that we have the top. There's a locomotive on the other side. They are in a tow position. Headed down to the end. I'm, not, of they are I'm guessing there's a boat position. fishing to come out of that other side as we go. So right now, you can see that we're on this side. We're all the way up 27 feet. One meter a minute. No pumps. All right. Get an idea here of how high we're being lifted because this hill, if you will, where the locomotives go up and down is the, about the distance, about 26 feet, I think they said. And all of the water coming into this is gravity fed. There are no pumps. Okay, so now the doors in front of the ship are opening. And we're at the same elevation of that. And then we're going to move into that next lock and it's going to raise us again. Okay, we're starting to move now. We're going to move into the other lock. The highest toll was there. So we're moving into this next lock. We've got a locomotive on all four corners. And again, they don't pull the boat. The boat's moving under its own power. They just hold it in the middle with their cables, which are tight. Here's the door that we just came through. They lifted us up. The end of what we got lifted up. This is my little American girlfriend. This is the big door behind us. It's closing now, and then it's going to raise us again a second time. I think about the same amount, about 26 more feet. Here's the locomotive on the rear with this cable that's holding us centered. There's one on the other side as well. Here comes the water again that's raising us up. It's an amazing amount of water. You can see on the other side the elevation of the water we're, we're coming up to. And that's for that other side is for boats going the opposite way. Alright, so we're in the second lock and we're just waiting to go across. 
Okay, so the gates, uh, gates are just about open now. We're going to be moving out into the lake. It takes 10 hours to go the whole eight miles. There's two locks on this side, and then I, there's some, some number of locks on the other side to go back down. We'll be going down on the other side after we spend some time going across the lake. Here, looking down on the other side, you can see the doors on the other side. If we're entering to go down. breakfast now. We're moving into the third lock, it's called the San Miguel lock. It's going to raise us again. Not going to see exactly how much the commentator will come on in a minute. You can see one of the locomotives there chasing us. He's got his cable on that's holding us in the center so we don't bang the walls as we come through. A little American girlfriend just finished her breakfast. Okay. Me and my little American girlfriend, Panama, we just finished having breakfast. We're in the San Miguel lock, it's the third lock. And I guess it's raising us another 26 feet. There's our little locomotive on the front end. There's our little locomotive on the back end. The water's coming in and we're going up. Then we're gonna have to sail across a lake and then we have to go through some number of locks, I think three more to put us back down. Here's the guy at the remote steering station here. Look, Miss State Farm. Okay, so they've raised us up now. They're gonna open these open these doors, and then we're gonna sail out into the lake. There's a beautiful bridge out there. You see over here on the other side, they're digging another canal for even bigger ships. Ask our commentator on board. He said there are two gates at the forward end of each of the locks for safety in case we should accidentally strike that first gate. Well, here we are. We made it through. We had plenty of water. It's really nice. A few of us got an engine room tour. The one is giving electric. of the three descending locks. And we've just gone down. It's just let us go down. Now the doors are going to open. Let us go out into the next lock. And it'll close behind us and we'll, we'll go down one more time. We're back at sea level. So we came up three locks. Okay, the doors are almost open. We're starting to move very slowly. You can see the locomotive on the right side. There's another one on the left side. They're moving along with us. Again, we're moving under our own power. The locomotives just keep their cables tight so we stay right in the middle of the lock. You see that door go right back into the wall, making the wall just flush. This is the last lock be on the Atlantic side and the Caribbean at sea level. Look at let his cable go a little bit lax there, just adjusting it back and forth to keep the boat right in the center. Still leaving that second lock. You can see back there at the height of the door, the elevation we were at before we came down 26 feet. There's one of the rear locomotives, there's one on each four of each of the four corners. last lock where we'll be let down again and then we'll be at sea level. You can see our little locomotive down there on the left. Here you can see the locomotive is trailing us on that steep hill. So they're closing the door behind us 
that's the elevation we were. You can see the height of the doors. And then we're going to go down again one more time. So here you can see all the locks in the background. You can see the ship behind us is two locks back. And it's at that, it's in that first lock at the upper elevation. It's going to come to the middle and drop and finally get to where we are and drop one more time. It looks kind of funny perched up on top of that. I'm guessing this one's fixing to ring his little bell too. And that tells everybody that we're just about ready to move and that we're going to. Yep, see, he started moving. He just released his brake. He's moving too, and they're holding us in the center. See the big boat all the way, almost all the way through that rear lock. There are two doors at the front at the head of every lock. And I asked the engineer about that. I didn't understand. He said it's a safety precaution. There are two doors in case by uh, some accident the, the boat would get loose or drift or whatever and strike the first door. The water in between that door and the second door was there only about 40 feet apart. Of course it's at the proper elevation so the water wouldn't run out and the boat turn on its end or do anything crazy just because they struck that door by accident. Here's that ship two locks back behind us again. It's at the upper elevation, and then we've still got this one beside us, and it's going up. I think the water that rushes out of ours may rush into theirs if they get us side by side. So it lets us down while it pushes theirs up. Okay, I think we've descended. Ocean side on the Atlantic Ocean side on the Caribbean. Caribbean. Okay, there was a croc over here. We missed him laying on his back with his mouth open. Anyway, we're leaving the Panama Canal now. It uses a billion, five hundred million gallons of fresh water that comes from the rainforest every day and is ejected into the ocean as it pushes the boats up and down in the locks as they move through here. And it's, they say that's why they're so protective of their rainforest because it produces all of that water every day so that the locks will work.